Jesus, filled with the divine inspiration, returned from the Jordan and was guided by the Spirit, which sent him out to a solitary place in the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. At that moment, my mother, the Holy Spirit, took me, whisked me away by one of my hairs, and brought me to the great Mount Tabor. He spent forty days in the wilderness being tempted by Satan. He lived among the creatures of the wild, where angels looked after him. He ate nothing that whole time, so after fasting for forty days and forty nights, he was very hungry. Then the tempter showed up and enticed him. If you really are the Son of God, then say the word, and this stone, indeed all of these stones will be turned into bread. Jesus replied, It is written, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him and led him to Jerusalem, the holy city, and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple. He said, If you really are the Son of God, then jump down from here. You see, it is written, He will order his angels to watch over you, to guard you carefully, and pick you up with their own hands, lest you should kick your foot against a stone. It is written, Jesus answered, Do not tempt the Lord your God. Again, the devil took him and led him up to a high place, to a lofty mountain, and showed him all the nations of the world, with all of their trappings, in a moment of time. All of this will I give you, he baited him, if you will bow down and worship me. All of its power and every bit of its glory will I give to you, for it has been placed into my hand, and I am free to offer it to whomever I choose. So it will all be yours if you will worship me. And Jesus answered, saying, You get behind me, Satan, for it is written, You must worship only God, serving him and no one else. Then, after the devil had run through every temptation, he left Jesus for a better occasion. Angels then came and ministered to him.